Hello my dear students welcome to your geography's online class Today in this class we will be discussing the chapter hydrosphere in which the topics to be discussed are ocean currents and their effects and few of the ocean currents as per the syllabus that we find in different oceans but let us first discuss about ocean currents what is ocean current as we already have discussed in our first class regarding ocean currents we would understand it as the movement of ocean water the surface water of the oceans and their movement in a specific direction is known as ocean currents these ocean currents are very much affected by the temperature density and even salinity of the waters they are also affected by the prevailing winds by prevailing winds we mean to say the planetary winds the winds that blows because of rotation of the earth so they all happen to affect the movement of the waters now we will be discussing the effects of this ocean currents so as an effect of the ocean currents we can see that ocean currents mitigates air temperature and helps regulation of air routes then with the mixing of warm and cold currents it provides a very good or ideal condition for fishing because the result in the growth of plankton which is a seafood for these creatures aquatic creatures and hence they get attracted with such an ideal condition for their living so fishes which comes to this region obviously gives rise to a fishing ground third we see that with the mixing or meeting of cold and warm ocean currents it results in the formation of dense fog and these dense fog are very harmful in terms of navigation as we can get a very good example with the movie titanic as it was shown but as a real incident that took place in 1912 in the month of april it was all because of this dense fog that the ship hit the iceberg so hence causing lots of life the next we can see this ocean currents regulates the weather condition of coastal regions as if if the warm is water then it raises the temperature of the coastal areas and if the current is cold then it tends to decrease the temperature of places so with this regulation and all these factors how it affects we will try to understand with different ocean currents that flows in different regions so now we will discuss about the ocean currents in specific as per the syllabus they are gulf stream then we have north atlantic drift then labrador current and kuroshio and oyashio so let us discuss them now now we will discuss the three ocean currents that is gulf stream labrador current and north atlantic drift all these three currents are the ocean currents of north atlantic waters of the north atlantic oceans so let us first start with gulf stream from 20 degrees latitude the gulf stream originates from gulf of mexico so this point here this is gulf of mexico
And to understand things, we should always know that the ocean currents, they derive their name from the place they flow and not to the place they flow. So this waters, the equatorial waters entering the Gulf of Mexico region in this region, it comes out from here flowing towards northeastern direction and this stream or this ocean current is known as Gulf Stream. This is one of the most strongest stream of current that occurs in the North Atlantic Ocean. This Gulf Stream, since it's coming from the lower region, that means from the lower latitudes, it is a warm current. So this warm current starts blowing towards the north. The waters of the equatorial region which is modified and to further move towards north east by the land masses in the south. This portion of equatorial waters enters the Gulf of Mexico. This region is Gulf of Mexico. So when the waters or the ocean current comes out of this Gulf of Mexico or flows out of the Gulf region it derives its name as Gulf Stream, abbreviated GS, here, the Gulf Stream. Now, since it is coming from the equatorial regions, the Gulf Stream is a warm current. Now, this Gulf Stream, as it flows towards the northeastern part, moving further north of eastern margin of North America, comes under the influence of westerlies the ocean current, the Gulf Stream, it comes under the influence of westerlies, the wind that blows from the west and hence is driven across the waters of North Atlantic Ocean and reaches until the coastal areas of British Isles and the European continent. Now this current which gets completely different as a part of Gulf Stream drifted under the influence of westerlies is known as North Atlantic Drift is known as North Atlantic Drift. Now this North Atlantic Drift is also a warm current. So this warm North Atlantic Drift as it hits the coastal areas of European land masses, mostly the British Isle region, it increases the temperatures of the water that is very close to this margin of European continent and hence always keeps the port free from ice. So this is the reason why we can say that the ports around the British Isles are active even during winters because they are free from freezing of waters due to the North Atlantic drift as because it is a warm current and hence influences the temperature in this region. While a portion of this Gulf Stream now again it further moves towards the north and meets the current coming from the Arctic region between Greenland and the Canadian province. So when it meets here, the current which comes from the Arctic region is known as Labrador current and is a cold current. So this Labrador current meets the warm waters of Gulf region that is Gulf Stream and hence results in the formations of dense fog in the areas of new fond land. So in the areas of new fond land, as this waters of cold Labrador current and warm Gulf Stream meets, they also facilitate the growth of plankton, the seafood which attracts lots of fishes and hence gives rise to the fishing zones of the world, the new fond land fishing zone. Now, we will be discussing about the ocean currents of the Pacific Ocean, specifically as per the syllabus, two of it, that is Kurushio and Oyashio. So the Kurushio current is actually the part of the equatorial waters of the Pacific Ocean, which is modified because of the Coriolis effect caused due to the rotation of the earth and also because of the islands, the Philippine Islands that comes the way of the North Atlantic, 
sorry pacific ocean so as the equatorial water of the pacific ocean comes towards asian landmass the water is modified when is obstructed by the philippines island and it starts moving towards the sea of japan as since it is coming from this is kurushia's abbreviated ks as since it is as a water of equatorial current so this is a warm current so this warm current as it flows the coastal regions of japan it tends to increase the temperature of the region and keep the coastal areas very much warm even during the winter season and extreme winter conditions where the regions of hokkaido and honshu receives good amount of snowfall but the coastal areas here they are very well kept under control because of its warmth the kurushia current travels almost 30 kilometers per day with a speed of it 30 kilometers per day and has the surface water temperature of almost 18 degrees centigrade keeping the areas very much warm now these waters of the kurushio current that is a warm current meets with the waters of oyashio current as abbreviated oc and other is Kuril current that is neighbors KC Kuril current. This Kuril current is so named because it happens to cross over the Kuril Island in the waters of North Pacific Ocean, and this current comes from the Arctic region, crossing over the Bering Strait. Bering Strait is a narrow stretch of water that separates Asia onto its west and America onto its east. So this Kuril current, it's a cold current, while the same Oyashio current, which is a cold current coming from the Arctic regions, comes to meet with the waters of Kurushio current, which is a warm current. Hence, when these warm and cold ocean currents meet with each other, this becomes the zone for fishing, as because it facilitates the growth of plankton. In fact, because of the conditions prevailing over this regions where the waters of Kurushio current and Oyashio current meets, it becomes the, one of the best fishing zones of the world. The Kuril currents being the cold current, as it comes along the islands of Kuril, it happens to influence the region with its cold temperatures. It also along with the waters or the currents brings the ice sheets and icebergs floating from the Arctic region. Thank you very much class. This is about the chapter Hydrosphere. After seeing the video, also please go through your book so that you can get a detailed study or analysis of these topics been discussed. Thank you and you all take care.